have faced raw material costs increasing. Iron ore, coal, scrap, fair alloys, everything, energy, labor as well. Iron ore last year was about 80% higher. Uh, we have seen depreciation of local currencies against the American dollar. Uh, Brazil, uh, in Brazil, we have the Brazilian real, which was the currency that depreciated more than any other in the globe last year against the American dollar. Here we see the global steel production per country. I put this slide here only to emphasize that in Brazil, we are the ninth uh, biggest steel producer, but the most important here is that the steel production dropped last year about 5%. The export in 2021, early 2021, January and February, precisely, the exports, they dropped 30% in Brazil. The steel exports dropped dramatically because the domestic market was so strong that it was consuming this steel. At the same time, we have the consumption and the inventories being rebuilt by the distributors and consumers as well. The imports going upwards. Actually, uh, these imports were uh, upwards because we faced a lack of uh, steel in Brazil for some grades at the beginning. The, the big fight now, the big challenge for the steel mills in the market now is to find out how fast is going to be this recovery, how big, how strong is going to be this uh, recovery for them to plan their production and inventories. During this post-COVID, construction uh, really see a reactivation. And if we analyze 2021, the reactivation will be in the order of 30 to 35% in construction, which will drive the advanced their consumption up uh, in Argentina. What we foresee uh, for Argentinian uh, domestic market is some kind of stable market yeah, with high demand, the rebuilding of inventories among all the channels, uh, we are seeing a strong construction growth uh, in almost all the all the cities. Uh, that is the strategy of the government, and when they are trying to impulse as uh, the motor of the, the economy, uh, we are seeing also an increase in the in the industry consumption, uh, mainly due to the restrictions of imports into Argentina and try to develop here national industry in order to get all that goods. And we are seeing also a strong uh, export market for, for Latin America, Central America, and Caribbean. Uh, regarding prices, uh, what we foresee is that the, this first quarter and second quarter will be highly influenced by the high prices that the international trend is uh, right now driving, but for the, 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 the Q3 and mainly Q4, maybe we can expect some decrease in the, in the, in the trend of that prices. Here is the uh, import of plate. Uh, Russia is, uh, is the largest exporter of plate in, in January 2021. Uh, Brazil imported more than 4,000, 4, almost 41,000 tons of plate. So uh, as you can see, Germany is the seventh. So the gap is, is, is big. So Russia is, is, is the largest exporter of plate to Brazil. And um, we don't import plate from China because of anti-dump. But uh, if, you, if you compare uh, the the price of the plate in Russia and the price of the plate in China, uh, China uh, has better prices than Russia. We can see that uh, Russia uh, also is is, uh, is a very important exporter, and South Korea also uh, is the first uh, for cold rolled. And um, 
probably during this year, we will see a huge importation of steel uh, because of the price increasing in Brazil. And also, uh, we heard that there are a lack of production uh, in Brazil too. So uh, the tendency is to increase the imports uh, in 2000, uh, 20, 2000 to, to 2021. So here again, uh, we are talking about specifically about coated steel. So we can see that uh, China is the leader. Uh, if you look at this number of January, uh, uh, considering Latin America, with the exception of China, of, of Mexico, sorry, because Mexico, uh, they have the anti-dump against China. But anyway, if you consider the other countries, uh, in in uh, in South America and also the Central America, China is the main exporter of coated steels. In Brazil now, most of the distributors they are suffering. Uh, all, all I can tell you that all the segments of the market they are suffering because of the price, the adjust of the price uh, every month. So they are suffering a lot. Uh, but I can tell you that. Uh, uh, the impact uh, of the price increase in Brazil is uh, is changing now. Uh, most of the mindset of the Brazilian distributors and also industries they are now uh, importing. Uh, they, they, for example, there are companies in Brazil they never imported. They started to import now. Okay, and um, I think that this tendency of import will increase during the whole year. During this pandemic, 2020, 2021, those investments, they are not that often. Not only from China, but also from US, from Europe, from anywhere. We are like an unstable, in an unstable situation and it's not, uh promising for anybody who wants to invest for the long term they want to have a clear policy uh with their local partners they want to have a clear policy from the local governments so this uh situation uh is gonna improve that's for sure we we expect already in 2021 a situation better than in 2020 and 2022 is going to be even better, that's for sure, no doubt. But we have to show some sustainability in terms of uh, business environment. We have to show stability on the currency, on the policies, on uh, the expectations from the government on having uh, foreign partners to produce locally, to explore the resource locally, generating jobs, generating uh, investments for the South American countries. The situation now, I would say, is not as it's not good as it was before the pandemic, but certainly is going to improve even more from now on. Right now, the the, the currency is more stable, uh, uh, as mentioned. I guess it was October to, to yes, 2020 that it was about 100% difference between the two exchange rates. Right now it's at the rate of 68, almost 70. So it's going, it's narrowing again mm -hmm. uh, and it's quite stable. Uh, uh, actually, right now the inflation in Argentina is moving forward faster than the valuation uh, of the exchange rate. 